Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now Daddy will show you an erotic thriller film from 1992, titled Basic Instinct. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The story begins with a blonde woman who have a sex with a man. She ties his hands to the brass bed. During sex, she takes an ice pick, stabs him for many times and he dies. Next day, Detective Nick and his colleague, Gus toward the crime scene. As known, a man who died last night was a rock and roll star, Johnny Boss. He's been stabbed for 16 stabs and no prints on the ice pick. They have checked on him, he was stabbed when he's on climax. They all laugh and think it was a stupid. The captain asks them to go to his girlfriend's house to find out. They meet a woman and start to ask her a question about Johnny. She is Roxy, Johnny's girlfriend's friend and she tells them her address. They arrive at the house and meet Johnny's girlfriend, it's Catherine. She smokes while enjoy the view. Nick asks about her relationship with Johnny. She says she wasn't dating him, she was just fucking him. They get surprised to hear the answer. She continues, she was with him last night, they had a drink together, and separated to back their own home. They decide to leave. The story goes into Nick meets with a counselor, her name is Dr. Elizabeth. He has to meet her because of an internal affairs command about his old case. He starts to tell her about his any activity. The fact, they both used to dating. After finish, he leaves from her room. In the conference room where all detectives are investigating Catherine's background. She's 30, no priors, no convictions. Double major, magnum cum laude in Berkeley for literature and psychology. Her parent was killed in a boating accident. She's a sole heir for $110 million and formerly engaged with a boxer, Manny Vasquez and he has died. He reads Catherine's book about a retired rock and roll star who is murdered by his girlfriend. That book shows the same picture that happened with Johnny's case. In the morning, Nick and Gus pick Catherine up for interrogation. She invites them to get in. Accidentally, he stares at a newspaper about his old case and sees her that puts her dress on. They get up, head on. While on the way, Gus asks her, you working on another book? She replies, yes. Nick continues, what's your new book about? She tells them her new book is about a detective who falls with the wrong woman. He turns back to her, what happens to him? She replies, she kills him. The interrogation begins. She answers the question about her relationship with Johnny bluntly. She moves her feet as her vagina is seen slightly. A man is stunned. She is femme fatale who makes them stiff and silent. She insists to take a lie detector test and she passed. They think she's telling the truth. But Nick doesn't even believe her. She's too smart, so she can trick the machine. And he takes her a ride to home. She teases him if she's not wearing underwear as she's out of the car and gets into the house. He towards to bar, order booze even he has stopped. He convinces the captain about Catherine who tricked her polygraph test, but he thinks he went too far. Another internal affairs, Nilsson teases him about his old habit that already starts again until he is mad. At the same time, Beth is there and faces him too. She pulls Nick away from the booth. They go to Beth's apartment. Straightly, he gets her dress off, fucks her with hard and rough touches. After finish, they lay down. She tells him she knows Catherine, they're in some of the same classes. He shocks. Later on, a colleague tells him he got a call from Berkeley. There was a killing in the 80s. A professor was stabbed by ice pick on his bed. The captain commands all of them to find out about his death that might be connected with Catherine. Nick has a job to see where she leads. He follows her into a house. He's out of the car, check a mailbox, it's written as Hazel Dobkins. As he's waiting for her to out, he sees her with an old woman that supposed it must be Hazel Dobkins. He pulls his car up to her house and sees the outline of her body from afar, then he leaves. He sits in front of a computer to find out who is Hazel Dobkins. At the moment, Gus comes at him and sees his screen. He knows about her, she's a psychopath, she killed her husband and kids with a knife. He comes to Catherine's house. On a table, he sees a word processor and newspaper clippings. They are all about him. She's using him as her research for main character on her new book. While she is making a drink, he asks her about Professor Goldstein and Hazel Dobkins. She says he was her counselor in her freshman year and where she got an idea to kill with the ice pick. And Hazel is a research to help her understand about homicidal impulse. She talks about his old case. He stares at her, horrified. 
Roxy comes and kisses her briefly as he walks away from them. She is bisexual, he sweeps by her into Beth's office and mad at her about someone who accessed his file, that's the reason why Catherine knows about him. Beth confesses, it's Nilsson. He goes to his room, picks him up by his lapels, slams him against the wall. Everyone try to break them up, but Nick gets suspension and he leaves. In the night, he gets a call. He comes to the crime scene and sees Nilsson died. He has been shot in the head. The captain asks him to give his gun. He suspects him as a killer. After he finished his interrogation and sees Catherine who sits down on the front stoop. He offers her to get in and have a drink. She starts to tease him and brings her new book, as she goes out and invites him to come to Johnny's club at night. In club where Catherine is having fun with Roxy, they are interrupted by Nick who just come. She starts to seduce him with her sexy dance. He's finally tempted. From the club, they decide to making love at her house. While she moves higher above him, kneeling over his face moving so slightly, and starts to tie his hands like Johnny's case. He meets with Gus and talk about Nilsson's death case. The investigation's result found a safety deposit box with $50,000 in his account, taken out three months ago, used that one time. It doesn't make sense because she didn't know him three months ago. As he walks down the street, the car suddenly speeds up toward him, but he passes to avoid. He begins to chase it. The car goes out of control, turning over as it rolls down the hillside. He runs down to check, it's Roxy. She's jealous of him and tried to kill him. He comes to Catherine's house to comfort her about Roxy's death. She looks sad about what happened to her. In the night, after having a sex, she tells her first story about a girl she met while she was in college. She slept with her once, started following her and copied her styles. Her name is Lisa Hoberman. Nick with his friend to find out about Lisa Hoberman is. As result appears, turns out, Lisa Hoberman is Dr. Elizabeth. They both startled, he's straightly to find her. She says it was true that she slept with her and it just experimenting. She developed fixation on her like styled her hair and clothes. The story is opposite of what Catherine told to him. He asks her a question why she changed her name. She replies, it's only because she got married. But he doesn't believe her and turns away. He straight to find out about Beth's dead husband. It showed, he was a doctor and was died by a gun. It's the same gun that used to shoot Nilsson. There's no suspect, no motive. It's unsolved. In the night where Gus goes into hotel to meet Catherine's mate room when they're in college is Nick is waiting in car. When he wants to out from elevator, he's stabbed by ice pick many times. Nick sees something wrong from the top, run into hotel to catch him. He's late, Gus has dead. Suddenly, Beth comes, she got message to meet Gus. He doesn't believe her, points the gun at her while she puts her hand into pocket, walks slowly toward him. But he shoots her, she dies. Turns out, he checks her pocket, it's only a key. Things look mess up, he goes into home and Catherine's there. She says she loves him. They have a sex again. There's something under the bed, it's ice pick. So, she must be the killer. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.